if we've got a sequence of numbers represented by the y values here and we've got a table where we've got increasing values of x one at a time it's convenient to work out a rule so we can work out any y number we like in that sequence for example the fourth one the fifth one or the tenth one let's have a look at some possibilities the first thing we'll do is have a look at see if there's a linear pattern and we do that by checking the first differences we can see that the differences between the y numbers starts at 4 and we achieve that by doing 6 minus 2 the next difference between 18 and 6 is 12 and then the difference between 54 and 18 is 36 so that's not constant so that means it's not a linear pattern the next thing we'll do is investigate the second differences which is the difference of the first difference and we'll ask ourselves if it's possibly a quadratic pattern we can see the difference between 12 and 4 is 8 and 36 minus 12 is 24 so our second differences are not constant either so that means that this pattern's not a quadratic so from here we could keep investigating further differences and ask yourself if it's a cubic equation and of course every time that we go to another difference pattern in this case the third difference pattern that means that if it's constant the equation will involve x to a power 3 well rather than do that let's have a look at the ratios between the y numbers now ratios means one number in y divided by the previous y number we can see here in the first case that 6 divided by 2 is 3 if we look at the next pair of y numbers 18 and 6 we can see the larger 18 divided by 6 is also 3 if we continue to the next pair 54 divided by 18 is also 3 so what we have here is a common first ratio and if the first ratio is common what we have is what's called an exponential relationship and we'll have a look at how we develop the rule let's start when x equals 0 we can see that y equals 2 there's not much we can actually gain from this so we'll move on to the next x value when x equals 1 y equals 6 and we can achieve that by going 2 multiplied by 3 likewise when we have a look at the next x value x equals 2 the y value is 18 that's the previous y value of 6 multiplied by 3 or as we can see here 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 and if we go across to the next x value when x equals 3 y is multiplied by 3 again so we get a result of 54 or 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 now since there's repetition in our results we can save some time by using index notation when x equals 1 y equals 2 multiplied by 3 or 3 to the power 1 when x equals 2 y equals 2 multiplied by 3 twice or in this case 3 squared and when x equals 3 we can see that y is equal to 2 multiplied by 3 to the power 3 in terms of a rule every time we go to an increasing value of x the index or the exponent of the 3 changes so our rule becomes y equals 2 multiplied by 3 to the power x we can easily test this rule if we want to find the next value in our table when x equals 4 we can substitute x equals 4 into our rule that means that we need to calculate 2 multiplied by 3 to the power 4 we do indices first 3 to the 4 is 81 and if we multiply that by 2 we get 162 if our rules correct 162 divided by 54 should be 3 again if we check that the result is 3 so what happens in our rule is x is in the index or exponent and that's why this is called an exponential equation because our value of x is represented as a power so any time that your first ratio is constant between the values in y in this case in our table in the second row we know that we can find an exponential rule it's very easy to find this exponential rule quickly once we've established that the first ratio is a constant you'll notice at the beginning of the rule in this case 2 is the value when x equals 0 and you'll notice the first ratio for this rule was 3 that forms the base of the right hand side of our equation where the index is and the index or exponent will be x